top 10 best places to visit in the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon is one of America's generally renowned and notable regular attractions and has been a traveling objective for ages. Hey, this is Sash from Mind Blowing Travels. In this video, we're going to go over the top 10 best places to visit in the Grand Canyon. Number 10. Visitor Center and Mather Point Overlook if you are entering the recreation center at the south entrance, the best activity is to head straight forwardly to the guest community from Williams Bearing. A couple of showcases show a short outline of the recreation center and a little about the set of experiences. The recreation center staff are available to address questions and give data on climbing trails and attractions. A short way from the guest community prompts Mather Point Overlook. There are two or three substantial review regions on a peninsula sticking out into the gully, with extraordinary vistas over the ravine. Throughout the most recent three years, various upgrades have happened in Mather Point and Grand Canyon Visitor Center region, making an improved and more pleasant guest experience. Number 9. Rim Trail The Rim Trail is a generally cleared strolling way that follows the edge of the Grand Canyon for 21 kilometers. It runs from South Kaibab Trailhead, to Hermit's Rest at the far west finish of Hermit Road. With a blend of sun and shade from dispersed trees, is perhaps the most beautiful strolls in North America. You can get to it before the guest place at Mather Point or from any of the grand stops along Hermit Road. More than 250 individuals are safeguarded from the gulch every year. The contrast between the extraordinary experience in Grand Canyon and an outing to the clinic or more awful is up to you. Numerous alternatives are accessible for day explorers. The South and North Rim both have edge trail climbs and have great perspectives on the inner gorge, some on the cleared path. You could decide today to climb into the valley. Number 8. Hermit Road Drive Hermit Road is a 7-mile picturesque drive along the gulch edge with various perspectives. This is the most well-known course in the recreation center. If you are visiting between the start of December and finish of February, you can do this drive in your own vehicle from March 1st to November 30th. You should utilize the Recreation Center Transport, which works each 10 to 15 minutes and stop at 9. All the places along this course offer mind-blowing vantage focuses over the gully. The absolute best perspectives can be had from Maricopa Point, Hopi Point, The Abyss, and Paima Point. In the event that you lack as expected, you might need to skirt the last stop, Hermit's Rest. Improved in 2008 and re-emerged in 2020, Hermit Road, previously known as the West Rim Drive, has the absolute best Grand Canyon seas that you can see any place. When you get out to Hopi Point, the Colorado River comes into sea, and on a peaceful day at Paima Point, you can hear the thunder of the Colorado River as it goes through Granite Rapid. Number 7. Bright Angel Hiking Trail The most famous climb in the recreation center is the Bright Angel Hike which leaves from the village where the bus transport to Hermit's Reach starts its course. This is a long climb. However, numerous individuals decide to stroll down the path just a short distance to figure out the rise. The entire course full circle to Bright Angel Campground is 19 miles and requires two days. For a short example of the path, the upper tunnel is just 0.4 miles full circle and takes under 30 minutes and the lower burrow is 1.7 miles and takes somewhere between the range of 1 and 2 hours. This climb embraces the gully dividers with steep precipices and sharp drops off the outer segment of the path. It isn't appropriate for anybody with the genuine dread of statues. A few parts of the course are in shadow and might be a day off ice shrouded in any event when conditions at the top are warm and dry. The Bright Angel Trail is the most well-known path on the South Rim, and all things considered. Number 6. Desert View Drive While the vast majority will, in general, flow towards Hermit Road, the 22-mile Desert View Drive is similarly, if not all, the more dazzling. One of the primary contrasts is the view of the Colorado River, which is considerably more evident from a portion of the stops along this drive than on the coast further west. Lipan Point has more magnificent perspectives to Colorado, but on the other hand, it is a critical area for birders. This is the most immediate course across the gulch for moving feathered creatures, which utilize the more tight area on their flight way. Number 5. Desert View Watchtower Desert View is the primary step in the recreation center on the off chance that you are from the east and entering the recreation center through the Desert View entrance. This is a full administration stop with an overall store, general store, and outdoors. However, the fundamental fascination is the celebrated Indian Watchtower. 
The structure is intended to resemble an Anasazi lookout, and much consideration was given to detail in its creation. The pinnacle is worked around a solid and steel structure. However, the stone outside with lopsided roofiness makes a sensational impact as it mixes in with encompassing tones. The inside dividers noticeable on each level from the roundabout overhangs and flight of stairs are covered with what is intended to resemble petroglyphs and antiquated work of art. Number 4. Lookout Studio and the Kolb Gallery Inside the village, the Lookout Studio and the Kolb Gallery are both roosted along the ravine divider. The Lookout Studio is based in one of the Mary Jane Coulter buildings that are found all through the recreation center with a customary stone plan, intended to take after a ruin. The studio sells keepsakes and knickknacks, yet additionally has two outside survey decks that post over the Grand Canyon. Simply a short stroll toward the west of here is the Kolb Gallery in a dim earthy colored wooden structure. This notable Victorian home was underlying in 1905 and had a place with the Kolb siblings, who were early swashbucklers in the recreation center. Today, the structure fills in as workmanship display with evolving shows, a little store selling books, and data on life of the Kolbs. The Kolb Gallery is close to the beginning of the Bright Angel Trail. Number 3. Wildlife Weaving while the vast majority don't go to the Grand Canyon for the untamed life seeing, it's without a doubt you will probably see a few creatures in the event that you are passing through the recreation center. One of the standard presumes that can frequently be spotted along the rim trail is elk. Despite the fact that you are more averse to see them, the mountain lions live in the recreation center timberlands, and signs along the Desert View Drive encourage drivers to look for them out and about. Likewise found in the recreation center are bighorn sheep, hard-nosed skunk, donkey deer, Arizona state well-evolved creature, this ringtail and numerous other more modest critters including the kaibab squirrel, natural life has consistently been a significant component of the Grand Canyon climate and a critical draw for vacationers. Number 2. IMAX Movie at the National Geographic Visitor Center in only 34 minutes of cooling comfort at the National Geographic Visitor Center, you will find a Grand Canyon that would typically take a lifetime to encounter. The Grand Canyon IMAX film opens with the start of a man's delicate connection with the contorting 277-mile, 455-kilometer Grand Canyon. It at that point requires some investment, indicating you look at human history. From the secretive Anasazi who possessed the gully 4,000 years back, to Major John Wesley Powell, who tested the neglected gully and the seething Colorado River in 1869, the film makes you fully aware of a Grand Canyon that most don't know. The film closes by flying like a condo over the edge and into the gulch, getting doused by the intensity of the Colorado River. While never leaving your seat, you live the set of experiences and secrets of perhaps the most celebrated common miracles on the planet. Number 1. Little Colorado River Overlook Leaving Grand Canyon National Park by means of the east side of the South Rim through the Desert View entrance, the primary sign posted picturesque post offers an inconceivable view over the Little Colorado River. This stop is on Navajo land, and in the stopping zone, Navajo specialists sell carefully assembled gems. A short walk around a wide path past the parking area prompts two outdoor tables and a post territory with railings with direct perspectives over a part of the canyon. From the edge, the Little Colorado River is obvious far underneath. Little Colorado River Gorge overlooks east of Grand Canyon National Park, along Arizona Highway 64, Shadow or Ghost Mountain, a quaternary age spring of gushing lava, is somewhere out there. On a level plain had relations with layers of Permian sedimentary rocks and uncovered in the crevice. Kaibab limestone overlies the gigantic Toro Veep formation, and Coconino sandstone is uncovered in the lower precipices of the crevice. With that being said, here we come to the end of our video. I hope you liked this video. If so, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss any video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.